We're at Battlefield Equipment in Stony Creek, Ontario with the CAT CT680L, kindly loaned to us by Toramont Caterpillar in Concord for this test drive. We're here grabbing a trailer so we can check out the performance of the truck in its natural habitat. We'll be looking at the powertrain, maneuverability, ease of control and some of the truck's special features. I'm Jim Park, Equipment Editor at Today's Trucking and Heavy Duty Trucking. CAT's CT680L is a work truck through and through, and several of the design features reflect this. It has 12 and a quarter inch frame rails with 120,000 PSI yield strength, a 16,000 pound front suspension with a 14,600 pound Meritor wide track I-beam steer axle. Out back we have a 46,000 pound Hendrickson HAS 460 tandem suspension, 46,000 pound Meritor drive axles with driver controlled diff locks and a 410 to 1 axle ratio. There are two Shepard M100 power steering boxes on board and even with the heavy axle we still have a very generous wheel cut and a turning radius of just 33 feet 3 inches. Check out this clip of me turning into a tight little civilian parking lot to grab a cup of coffee. First a big broad right turn and then a tight left turn and finally, a little S-turn to straighten out. Try that one with a big long-nosed highway truck. And make no mistake, with its 124-inch bumper to back of cab measurement, this is a long-nosed truck. This hood and cab assembly on the uh, CT680 is entirely a CAT design. Originally, there was some uh, international Navistar contribution to the cab. In fact, it was based on the Paystar cab at one time. But now that's all pretty much a vestige of the past. There's still some remnants of what, uh, you know, what was in the back wall of the cab at one time, but Cat's done some work on that as well. Pretty much the entire cab and hood assembly now it is Caterpillar designed, engineered, and produced. And there's one particular feature of this aluminum alloy cab that owners will really appreciate. It's super easy to clean. The floor in this truck, the rubber flooring is actually sealed. If you wanted to take a hose or a pressure washer, you could actually soak the floor down and wash it uh, without getting water underneath the floor mat that'll start to rot the upholstery and give you that damp smell after a while. Something a vocational truck like this needs where the driver is going to be getting pretty muddy feet most of the time I would guess. The power for our CT680L comes from a 12.4 liter CAT CT13 engine. The engine produces 475 horsepower and 1700 pound-feet of torque at 1000 rpm. Navistar manufactures the engine for Caterpillar, but CAT has created a set of horsepower and torque ratings specific to the vocational truck market. The so-called personality of past CAT engines is obvious with this one. I thought it revved, shifted and pulled pretty much the same way any of those previous generation CAT engines did. The transmission in our test truck was an Eaton Fuller 18-speed manual with double overdrive. The 0.73 final drive ratio coupled to the 410 rear ends gives the truck a nice combination of fuel efficiency at highway speeds with all the pulling power you need in the lower gears on job sites and off-road. Overall, I thought the CT13's 475 horsepower and 1700 pound-feet did a good job with the load we had. The CT680 is also available with Eaton Ultra Shift Plus automated manual vocational transmissions as well as CAT's CX31 automatic transmission. Cat says the six-speed automatic is performance matched to the CT13 engine for optimized performance and fuel efficiency. It will get you up to speed fast with its programmed shift points. It also comes with two side-mounted power takeoff ports and one on the rear. There's plenty to like on the Cat CT680L and it's a great looking truck too. Here are a few final thoughts on the truck before we wrap this one up. Let's face it, aerodynamics isn't a really big concern with a truck like this. It's uh, going to be a day cab, it's going to be operating at fairly low speed most of the time. It's probably going to be pulling a, a float trailer with a piece of equipment on it, uh, which is anything but aerodynamic. So uh, aerodynamics might not be the prime focus for a truck like this. Certainly maneuverability is, and payload, and you've got both with this uh, particular setup. And the turning radius is surprisingly tight. In fact, when we pulled into that gas station a little while back, I was surprised at how tight the truck made the turn into the parking lot. The wheel seemed to go around one or two more rotations than I was expecting it to. Uh, obviously, when you're driving on a job site, a turning radius like this truck is very, very helpful. 
There's one more video in this series, The Walk Around. We'll take a detailed look at some of the cab and chassis features that make the CT680 a very good investment and a great truck to drive. Be sure to check out our driving impressions video as well. For Heavy Duty Trucking and Today's Trucking, I'm Jim Park with CAT's CT680L at Battlefield Equipment in Stony Creek, Ontario.